Hello and welcome to Amsha Tech. Today we are discussing the SAP Analytical Application. How we can create SAP Analytical Application in an easy way. So let's uh, go straight to the uh, to the dashboard. Here we have the icon of Analytical Application. Like let's click on it. Let's click on the application. Create application. And now uh, we have to select the classic design experience, then click on OK button. Here it is. Now we have the interface of analytical application. On the left side, we have the layout, and after that, we have the escaping option uh, present here, which is the main difference, which is the main benefit of uh, SAP analytical application. We have uh, discussed the difference and the features of uh, both uh, SAP Stories, SAP Analytics Cloud Stories, and the SAP Analytics Cloud Analytical Application in the previous video. If you don't uh, um, watch it, um, if you don't explore it, do go to the uh, to that video and explore to, from my channel. So then uh, you can have the basic knowledge of both uh, the of both the products of uh, SAP. So now in this video, we will create an application which will uh, which will do some. We will control some design for our technical application so let's begin first of all we have to create a panel for this we'll go to the insert menu and then click on the panel here it is now we have a panel here in this uh, this is called this will be our header panel so let's uh, name uh, name it as a header panel as a header here it is i renamed it to the header in the header panel i will insert the shape by going to the insert menu and then select the here it is now our shape has been inserted let's uh, uh, let's uh, Resize it. Our panel's height is 256, and our uh, our shape height is 384. So let's uh, minimize it to 100. Here it is. Now our panel size is uh, 256, and our uh, shape size is 100. So let's uh, expand it. Here you can observe that the horizontal toolbar has been added. Let's resize the width of the panel and the width of the shape. The width of the shape is now 752 and the width of the, uh, of the panel is 592. Let's uh, resize the width of the uh, shape, to, uh, shape to 592. 592 here it is now you can observe that the horizontal scroll bar has been vanished because we have adjusted uh, the the length of our shape uh, very perfectly so now let's change the color of our shape is the color of it by using the uh, pictogram properties to fill color like this i choose the color blue here it is now we have a perfect color for our shape and in this shape we can also add a logo of our company and in the panel we can add uh, we have to add the, the text which will which will represent the name of the analytical application let's insert the text from the insert menu here it is now let's write the name of application like it is sales 
sales analytical application there it is now we can also made it bold we can also made it clear for the uh, for the user so then user can uh, see it very clearly now let's rename the name of uh, the text to the title because it is a title of application here it is now uh, uh, our title of application has been added now let's resize the the shape of uh, the uh, now resize the height of our panel and we can also uh, insert the logo of company by using the insert image option here i have to upload the image now we can add the image or logo which will represent the name of a company or the information about the company so i added this image by using the option and then click on the insert button it will insert our image uh, directly into our uh, into our header panel that she says it uh, to the to the width of the panel let's find the what is the width of the panel uh, here it is the width of the panel is 592 so then we can also uh, set the width of the of our image to the 592 px here it is now we just have to increase the height of our image so then it will uh, it will show correctly we just have to adjust our text according to the uh, to the image or logo which i have added here because in the application development or designing this is the routine work uh, for uh, for setting the image for the application or anything else here it is now our image has been uh, fixed uh, to the uh, perfectly in the panel now we can set the height of our panel accordingly here it is now we have the perfect uh, uh, perfect headline or title of our application also we have also added the image of our application you can also add as per your need or favorism so now our uh, our shape of uh, the application has been finalized the title of application is finalized now let's move on by inserting a chart so then we will play around it go to the insert option and then select chart option here it is now it will add it will ask for the data model which we want to uh, use for our chart i select the sales sample model which uh, uh, which uh, which available in every uh, in every unit of uh, sec i placed here resize my chart and move according to the panel size according to the app, the size here it is now i move my chart here i also have to uh, make some space uh, which will uh, which will be used for the slider later in this uh, later on so i just uh, escape i just give some space between the uh, between the header panel and my chart so then i will insert something to control my chart or to control some uh, to perform some analysis so uh here we have to add we have to add the measure and the dimension accordingly i select uh, by using the add measure i select the sales and then by using the add dimension option i select the uh, the uh, the state or anything uh, which will be productive i select here the state option here it is now our chart is showing the straight wise uh, sales uh, very uh, very firmly so for this 
uh, we have uh, uh, we have a particular uh, sample data we, we also have to insert a table table element so then we will uh, move around it and we will uh, we will uh, we will show the chart or we will show the table both on the same space uh, on the same time one by one uh, by using the input control so i insert uh, we inserted the chart let's uh, insert the same data uh, same uh, let's insert the table for the same data i go to the insert menu and then select table here it is our table has been inserted let's uh, move it out to the particular space but to the particular space here it is now let's uh, uh, align it let's uh, give some important information uh, for this uh, widget let's give some uh, dimension which we have uh, given to the uh, to the to the chart already here i select the state for the dimension and for the measure i select the sales so now it's uh, uh, it is showing the states uh, as a as a raw now it shows the state as a column but we need the state as a raw so let's uh, cross it out and add the dimension uh, to the cross option here it is now i select the state in the option rows so then our table will show the uh, the states in the in the raw format here it is now you can see the, our states are showing in the raw, raw in the form of rows alberta first row second row british columbia and california and so on so perfect our uh, both widget has been uh, completed and we have inserted both uh, uh, both of the uh, both of the widget, widget very easily let's hide the title of uh, the table there it is now for some calculation and do some scripting we have to insert the script variable so let's uh, insert a script variable which will be the uh, discount i named it discount percentage we are uh, we are doing some analysis by using the discount percentage variable uh, as an input the user will will give the discount percentage and according to the discount percentage our sales will be uh, our sales value will be changed and for the interaction and for the controlling we will have to insert a slider in our analytical application so let's uh, insert a slider here insert we have to go to the insert and then select the slider here it is now as we have already uh, created the space for our slider we have uh, put here the slider here it is now our slider is been fixed which will control the both uh, um, both tables value both both widgets value the chart and the table accordingly so we have added the discount percentage variable and we have also uh, added the slider so let's first uh, use some scripting and change the uh, the values of uh, our sales so let's first save our analytical application because we didn't uh, save our application as an analytical application so i named it sales analytical application version 2 v2 and then click on the save button sac is saving our story here it is our application has been saved so now let's uh, uh, let's uh, create some calculated measure which will use the impact of uh, our discount and uh, the script variable that is discount percentage 
let's first to explore it as a discount percentage so the most important thing after creating a script variable you have to um, change the the type of the variable to the number and then if you want some this some initial value so you can uh, use it uh, the default value field and if you don't want so leave it to the zero value and then click on the done option there it is now just let's uh, go straight to the measure of the chart here click on the create calculation i name my calculated measure as a cl underscore sales here it is now for this we have to first uh, uh, get the value of sales and then we have to minus the discounted sales discounted percentage sales uh, by using the formula sales multiply by discount i just write the di the system the sac automatically gave me the option which is uh, which showing the script variable very easily and very clearly so i select discount percentage divide by 100 because as you know for the percentage we use this formulation so our calculated measure is now uh, is now completed let's uh, just use it click on the ok button here it is now you can see the each state is showing both measure if we don't want to show the old sales the without discounted uh, we we can use the the only uh, the only cl our calculated measure and we can also rename it accordingly so i uh, just uh, rename it i just rename it to the discounted sale discounted sales here it is now the chart is showing the discounted sales very easily and if i change the value of slider the value of slider will change in the uh, when we run the analytical application so just to uh, save our application after saving uh, we know that we haven't uh, write any scripting uh, and we haven't interact we haven't link our chart and the slider by using some scripting so the when we run our application there will be no change there will be no impact of slider let's check it out first i click on the run application option here it is now our application is showing very uh, very clearly and if we, i change the value of slider there is no impact on our chart and no impact on our table so let's uh, as I stated first, uh, there will be no change on, there will be no impact because we haven't relate, we haven't integrate the slider with the chart or any other widget. So let's get back, get back to the editor, designer, and uh, medical designer. 